Thank you, Finise, and congratulations to fellow Georgia Bulldog, Amy Wilson Lopez. Um, now we will learn um, the winner, uh, the inaugural winner of the Arthur Appleby Award for Excellence in Research on Literacy. And to present that award, I would like to introduce Virginia Goatley and David Pearson. Good afternoon. It's our pleasure to present to you the winners of the inaugural Arthur Appleby Award for Excellence in Research on Literacy. This award is unique in that it is co-sponsored by LRA and the University at Albany Foundation. In addition to David and myself, our hardworking committee members consisted of Deborah Appleman, if you're here please stand up, Deborah Appleman, Elizabeth Dutro as our board representative, George Newell, and Ramon Martinez. Could we have a round of applause for them? <laughs> the Appleby Award honors an outstanding article in literacy research published in a referee journal in the previous calendar year. The award is presented in memory of University at Albany distinguished professor Arthur N. Appleby, internationally renowned for his seminal scholarship in the fields of literacy and language learning. For the award, the topic of literacy research is uh, construed broadly to include research that informs literacy theory, practice, and or policy. A contribution to the field uh, may include articles that either substantively develop or add to an existing area of research combine existing areas of research in ways that have promised to positively influence literacy education or create a, a new or a less considered area of investigation with promise to positively influence literacy education. Because the award focuses on the broadest possible conceptualization of literacy, it necessarily entails all of the epistemological, methodological, disciplinary, and topical perspectives that we find under, under the M LRA umbrella. Thus, any article that emerges successfully from this broad set of filters honors LRA's fundamental uh, commitment to research. Given the commitment to epistemological and methodological diversity explicitly stated in the award selection criteria, it is not surprising that the committee decided to give two Appleby Awards this year. And as fitting to these two pieces, both judged to be outstanding and influential, emerge from two traditions. In the interest of time, we will not provide extensive summaries of these outstanding works, but we strongly encourage you to read them as soon as possible. I'll announce the first winner, and David will announce the second. The first win winner, first recipient is Maria Paolo, Paula Giso from Teachers College, Columbia University, for her article. <laughs> for her article, The Laundromat as the Transnational Local, Young Children's Literacy of Interdependence, published in Teachers College Re Record. Let's have a pause for Maria. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's, I'm so humbled by this award in honor of Dr. Appleby and his legacy. And I really want to thank the committee and also all my colleagues, friends, reviewers who have talked to me about this work over time and the Latino children and teachers who are part of this research. So thank you very much. The second recipient is a team of authors from multiple sites. Uh, I'm pleased to announce that the uh, second winner this year is uh, a consortium of folks from Project Ready at the University of Illinois at Chicago. And the uh, author team is listed as Susan Goldman from the University of Illinois Chicago, Ann Britt from uh, Northern Illinois University, uh, Will Brown from Westhead, Gail Cribb from Westhead, Marianne George from the University of Illinois at Chicago, Cynthia Greenleaf from West Ed, Carol Lee from Northwestern University, uh, Cynthia Shanahan from UI Chicago, and pr 
That's eight named authors. And then a team of about 50 that are listed as project ready. So, uh, for, as, and the award is given for their article entitled Disciplinary Literacies and Learning to Read for Understanding, a Conceptual Framework for Disciplinary Literacy. Uh, it was published uh, this last year in Educational Psychologists. Let's have a round of applause for this team of authors and will they, yeah, here come the acceptors. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, Susan apologizes for not being able to be here in person due to family responsibilities, but together we put together some short remarks. We're extremely honored to be the recipients of this award, especially so because of the intellectual connections to Arthur's work. Early in the life of this project, Judith and Arthur provided valuable advice and encouragement. And the development of this paper involved, indeed, all of those folks on the project in one way or another. I wonder if anybody on Project Ready is here that would like to stand up. We especially want to acknowledge, anyone? Um, the critical and central roles that our teacher collaborators played throughout the work. Teachers became scholars of disciplinary literacy and contributed significantly to the writing of this paper, as well as the ideas it reflects. We also must acknowledge Clark Chin, the editor of Educational Psychologist, for his over-the-top efforts in bringing this article to press. And we thank all the graduate students who assisted in the large undertaking of this multi-year project. In their honor, rather than accepting the prize money associated with this award, we are asking that LRA use these funds to support graduate student activities at LRA. And finally, on behalf of our rather extensive group of authors and collaborators, we want to express our thanks to the committee for all of your work and the effort that goes into the selection process. And I'm just going to take the privilege of old age and gray hair for 30 seconds, David, to, <laughs> to give a special thanks to Judith Appleby for conceptualizing and supporting uh, this award and to just uh, to acknowledge you know, that Arthur was one of the sweetest people that I've known in the Academy and the model that you guys have presented as a family and as institutional intellectual partners has been truly inspirational and has driven much of the work that we've done. Uh, these are uh, both uh, dynamic articles, as Jenny suggested. You should all read them uh, before the sun rises in the morning. Um, one more round of applause for the authors of, uh, of both articles, and thank you for your contributions uh, to the field and to the future of students around the world.